there, Ariana from Crafting Happiness here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this very simple flower hexagon. And this is crocheted in one piece, meaning that we do not break the yarn, we just crochet the rounds one by one to create this uh, hexagon with a flower on top of it. And this is how it looks like from the top. It's got two layers of petals. And then this is from the back. So let's get started. For this tutorial I am using double knit yarn and a 4mm crochet hook. You can use any yarn you like with a matching hook. And we will start the first round with a magic ring. And in the magic ring we will crochet 12 single crochet. And 12 and this is our first round now we will close the magic ring by pulling the tail tight slowly and tight until the uh, hole it's uh, closed shut so uh, this is our first round now slip stitch in the first uh, single crochet you have made and we can continue with round two so it's a bit tight Okay, so make a slip stitch and now we can continue with the second round and on the second round we will start with a chain three and then into the next stitch we will make two double crochet. And to complete the petal we will chain three and then slip stitch into the next stitch. And this is one petal. We will uh, make uh, five more. So again, chain three, then two double crochet in the next. And try and make your stitches quite loose. Then chain three, and slip stitch into the next stitch. And again, chain three, two double crochet, and then chain three. and slip stitch into the next available stitch. And we repeat this all around until we slip stitch into this very first uh, stitch we worked in. Okay, so now we are on our last petal, we chain three and we will slip stitch into the same stitch where we started this chain three. And that will complete our second round. Okay, 
and this is how it looks like and from the back and now we continue without turning uh, to create the base for the third row now we can continue with round three and for round three we need to create a base onto which to crochet the second uh, set of petals so uh, we will be doing that first so let's start round three we will chain three and then we will work at the back of the flower and we will slip stitch into the stitch that is um, right here in between the petals so we will be slip stitching in between the petals and if you can see here uh, there is uh, there are two loops insert your hook through like this right there between the petals and slip stitch and you will have this chain here right at the back of the petal okay so let's do that again chain three and then in between the next two petals you will see these two loops there's one there's two insert your hook behind and slip stitch between and again we have another uh, loop attached right behind the petal so we will repeat this all around we will have six of these loops so again chain three and find the loops the two loops that are between the petals this and then slip stitch and let's do that all the way around three more times and then slip stitch and last chain three and then again between the two petals pick up the two loops and slip stitch all right so um this is the third round and now the fourth round it's crocheted on the front side and we will be crocheting the second uh, round of um, um, petals so uh, first we need to carry the yarn through with a slip stitch so insert your hook into the chain three space and slip stitch and now we can make our first petal and to make the first petal we chain three then we make four double crochet Like this then chain three and slip stitch into the same chain three space and we repeat this five more times so again bring the yarn into the next chain three space by slip stitching and then chain three four double crochet in a chain three space then chain three and we finish the petal by slip stitching into the same chain three space and this is the petal right behind the previous one okay so now we need to make four more following the same pattern we make four double crochet then chain three and slip stitch
all right so we have finished the fourth round and this is how it looks like from the front and this is the back now we continue with the fifth round and again we will need to create a base onto which we are going to crochet the hexagon base so we will need just like we previously made uh, a base uh, for um, the next rounds so to do that again we chain three then we work on the back of the flower and again we are going to slip stitch into the same loops we have um, slip stitch before so you all you have to do is find the place where you slip stitch before and insert your hook into it right there at the base of the petal and slip stitch and again chain three and find the next loop which is right here they are quite visible and slip stitch chain three next loop in between petals which is this one and again slip stitch and we do this all the way around Okay, last one, it's a bit more fiddly, but you will see the loop right there in between the big uh, petals. And slip stitch, and this will close the round. All right, so now as you can see, we have this uh, chain spaces onto which we can start crocheting the pentagon, the hexagon. So uh, le let's continue and start uh, round number six and on round number six uh, we will uh, firstly bring the yarn into the chain uh, space by slip stitching in it and we are working on the right side of the flower and then chain three and make three double crochet in that chain space And this will be one side of the pentagon. Now we need to create the corner and to do that we chain two and then we move into the next chain three space and we make four double crochet. Okay. And that's another side of the hexagon. Now chain two to create a corner and move into the next chain three space and make four double crochet like this and then chain two and this is your repeat section um, create uh, make four double crochet and then chain two and move to the next chain three space so it looks like we have three more Let's do those quickly. Okay, chain two. And then four double crochet into the next chain three space. And now onto the last one for double crochet. Okay. 
and then chain two and we will be slip stitching at the top of chain three we made right at the beginning and I will close around six so there we go and this is how round six looks like from the back you can see now the pentagon forming now uh, in my pattern I have another round uh, for the pentagon uh, for the hexagon um, you can make this hexagon as big as you like uh, if you don't know how I have another video I created on a simple uh, hexagon and you can uh, I will put it here somewhere in the video you can check it out and see how you can make more rounds so on this particular pattern I only made one more round so let's go on with round seven and chain three and then we make a double crochet in each of the next stitches so uh, three double crochet and now we've reached the corner the chain two space we will make inside it one double crochet chain two and then another double crochet into the same chain space and that's your repeat section so we will make four double crochet one in each of these stitches and then in a chain uh, in a chain two space we will make a double crochet chain two double crochet right so let me show you another repeat four double crochet And then in the chain two space we will make a double crochet chain two and then a double crochet and this is one side of the hexagon and now we moved into the next one and we repeat this on every single side of it six sides in total so I'll be doing this really quickly Now we are on the last side we will make four double crochet and then um, the double crochet chain two double crochet in a chain two space and we will finish uh, the round with a slip stitch okay so we make four double crochet now in the chain two space we make double crochet chain two and double crochet and now to close the round we just um, slip stitch at the top of this chain three we made at the beginning and we are done now cut the yarn and pull through and then later on we weave in and this is how it looks like from the front uh, looks like a hexagon with a flower applique on top except this is built in so it's basically crocheted in one piece and this is the back and this is what I was saying if you um, crochet over your piece 
over your um, end, you will have just half the amount of um, tails to weave in. So yeah, this is how it looks like. And this is how you crochet the flower hexagon. I hope my tutorial was easy to follow. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to um, put them in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Happy crocheting!